Fun fact, I went to college and I got a bachelor's in marketing, but does that matter? No, I'm not working in my field, so what the hell does it matter? I have a degree in marketing. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. I just checked my student loans because I needed to get the information to someone and what the fuck? I started with 80,000. I have been paying for 10 years. Last year, I paid 6,000 lump sum because that's really the only way to get it low. Uh, that took it down to 76,000 after I've been paying for nine years. The grand total is I have paid $120,000 and I still owe 76. How the fuck is this possible? I think I might be late to the game learning about this. Um, student loans are really messed up. $120,000. Tell me how I'm supposed to get a job when every single job that I apply to is like, oh, you need at least three to five years of experience in this field or one related to it. I just graduated. I don't have experience. How am I supposed to get experience if you if you won't accept me for not having experience? <laughs> no! 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 You know what I've realized? Is the 80K that I'm in debt for college, I could have got the 2023 Ford fucking Bronco that I wanted. I don't care what anybody says, a college degree is useless. I said what I said, like, it's useless. You're telling me that I'm going to apply to all these jobs, pay a shit ton of money for this fucking piece of paper that's not even going to work. If I get one more fucking email that says, I'm sorry, we went with another candidate. We will keep you like for other job opportunities. No, it's good, dude. It's good. I am just going to go back in my bed and cry because I was lied. To I hope this video reaches Gen Z because it's too late for us millennials. If being a mother is in your plan of life, and you have yet to go to college or graduate high school, you need to think about how being a mother fits into your long-term plan. What's a career or what's a career path you can leave for at least three years to be with your children? Your brain changes and your priorities change when you have kids. I honestly think one of the best things we can do for society is let mothers be with their babies. Daycare, not best for babies. When I was growing up, it was a very clear path. You go to college, you get a job, you get married, you have a baby, and you go back to work. But modern millennial women, mothers, are miserable. We can't do it all. No one's coming to save us. Gen Z needs to be thinking about this. Spoiler alert, absolutely no money was spent today because I started the day off checking my student loan balance right after about 30 minutes of doom scrolling and I do have over $100,000 of student loans so safe to say I had a little bit of a menti bee this morning. Am I embarrassed to be crying on the internet? Probably. But honestly I post this because I wanted everyone to know that postgrad era comparison is so real. Social media makes it incredibly easy to compare yourself to Becky and Brad who are on their third trip to Europe this summer. But the truth is you don't actually know anybody's financial situation. Becky and Brad could be in mad credit card debt. Maybe they saved up for years for this trip and they're finally treating themselves. The point is, once you graduate college, everybody's on a completely different path with completely different goals and timelines. While it's human nature to compare ourselves to others, remember that social media is simply a highlight. I have two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. And two years ago, about two years ago, I really wanted to leave my job. I was stressed out, not really passionate about it. It wasn't what I went to school for. But I was making a decent amount of money. I mean, my salary was 90K plus bonus plus all the things. So I was well over 100000 a year. But I really wanted to move back to Pittsburgh, my hometown, to be closer to family. Now, the degrees that I have, I started looking at different things that I could do. Now, I have a 
bachelor's in psychology and I have a master's in counseling. Now, I never went and got licensed as a counselor and it takes so many hours of supervision, yada, yada. So I didn't have, I don't have my LPC. I don't have my license. So I was looking in fields, obviously, that I can do psych or do anything related to a counseling background. Jobs, I'm not even kidding you, were anywhere between 25 and 35,000 a year. That's with a master's degree. How is anybody supposed to live on that? And if you do, I am so sorry. I know that the economy, the American com economy sucks and I'm privileged to be to have been able to find a job for 55 or else I wouldn't be here and I got lucky with my living situation I don't know, because if I didn't have this place to rent that I would still be in Connecticut and miserable and hating my life now it's a different kind of stress because the stress I have now is money related and not surgeon related and operating room related but I feel mentally happier in this situation, even with the financial stress, I can try and do something about that. But to have two bachelors and a master's degree and the only significant options, like 90% of the options, 99% of the options that I had were like eight, I don't know, $15 an hour salary of about 30,000. How are people supposed to pay bills? <sighs> That's my...